So today I'm here to show you how to create a scoreboard for your sport videos. So if you do some kind of uh, sport videos and you want to add the score to your videos, you are in the right place because today I'm going to show you how to add and create one and animate the score while the, the video is playing and the result is changing. This video is uh, dedicated to one of my subscribers because he made one and he said that it was uh, too difficult to change the results and all of that. And I decided to create this one to show him that it's not that difficult if it makes this way. So let's jump in the computer and let me show you how you can animate and create all of that. So let's go. So here we are inside of the edit page and we have here the a picture. This is a picture, not a, a video of Cristiano Ronaldo playing football. And as you can see, the team one and the team two and the score is zero zero. And if we play it, it goes from here. The team one scores around here, then the scores again, and then the team two scores and it ties somewhere around here. So. As you can see, it's all done inside of this fusion composition. So let me show you how you can create something like this. Of course, you can create the multiple um, ways. So let's come here to the media pool, right click, new fusion composition. Let's give it a name. I'm going to score board three and let's jump into the scoreboard three fusion composition. And we are inside of the fusion. Let's add here background and I'm going to connect the background to our MIDI out and I'm going to put the alpha to zero because I want a transparent background. Now let's create our scoreboard. So let's add here a background. I'm going to change the color to something like this and I'm going to put the alpha zero, okay like this and I'm going to add here a mask, rectangular mask connected to to here let's connect it to our pipeline and let's go to the rectangle and first thing i want to do is the width i'm going to put one so i want it to the entire width of the screen and the height i'm going to reduce it something like this and i'm going to move it down to something like okay 0 0.08 and let's add the the team name so let's put it here let me change this to team one name. Okay, and connect it to the pipeline. And in here, let's type team one. I'm gonna change this to 0 0.6 and come here to the layout. And I'm gonna drop it down to 0 0.8. And I'm gonna move it somewhere around here. And it's still too big. Let's come here. Let's put it 0 0.5. Okay. And since we are here, let's come here to the justify to the H anchor and justify to the left. And now we can come to the layout and move it something like this 0 0.1 and 0 0.08. Now, Let's copy this, control C, control V. Let's change this to team to name. Let's connect it over here. Let's move this a little bit further. Let's come here and let's go to the layout. And instead of this, I'm going to put it 0 0.99. And I'm going to come here and I'm going to justify to the right and let's come here and change it to team two now it's done now let's add another background somewhere around here let's add another rectangular mask connect it and connect it let's go to here change the color for example to white go to the rectangle let's resize this so this is too much let's put it something like this and let's create some kind of a square. Now let's move it down here to 0 0.08. And let's move it to something like 0 0.46. Okay, so it's 0 0.04. Now let's copy this. 
and paste it over here. Let's connect it over here. Let's go to the rectangle. And instead of this, we're gonna seek five, four. It's the other one. So we have here this. Now let's move this a little bit further. Let's add another text over here. And this one is gonna team one score and let's connect it to the pipeline so in this one i'm going to put it come to the text over here put it zero i'm going to change it to black i'm going to lay out and over here i want to put it zero eight and here four six in the middle okay now let's copy this one and let's paste it over here have to change the name team two score okay let's connect it to the pipeline and in here come here and instead of 0 0.4546 it's 654 and i forgot let's put it like 0.6 do the same over here and 0.6 okay so now we have our score go to the first frame over here in team one let's go to the text and add a keyframe over here you will see why in a moment and come here and do the same so now we have in the frame zero we have two keyframes one for the team one score and one for the team two score now let's go to the edit page Let's remove this one and let's put our scoreboard three. So it's over here and we can put it to the full length of our game. Now, so the, the game will start and we'll go and somewhere around here, for example, team one scores a goal with the fusion composition selected. We go to the fusion and since it was the team one to score, we go to the here team one score and we come here and put it one. And we can go to the edit page and you see here, so it's like this. And then the game continues and from somewhere around here, team two scores and ties the game. So we come here, go to the score, the team two score and change it to one. So one equal, then it will go and somewhere around here, Team one scores again. Do the same, go to this and here, two. And the game goes and it's done. So if you play it now, you see that the scores will change. So as you can see, it's very easy. You just have to do it within this way. So I hope this information was helpful and I hope you learned something today. And if yes, don't forget, hit that like button that helps a lot. Subscribe if you're not subscribed yet and hit that notification bell to be notified next time I launch a video. Until then, bye!